Hey, hey, what's up guys? I'm C Love and I'm back with another super simple and budget friendly build that's guaranteed to give you hours of fun with your friends and family members. This is the Ring Swing Battle Toss game. Now, I played a much larger version of this game, but this seemed like a lot of fun, so I made four of these smaller versions just to see what they look like and to show you how simple it is to make one for yourself. I'll provide measurements on screen and recommendations in the description for your build. You know I don't like to take a lot of time, so let's get right to it. Come on, let's take a look. Using a 2x6 for the base, a 1 inch dowel rod for the upright, and a 2x2 furring strip for the top, I will quickly make my cuts and mark the center of the top and bottom pieces. Then I will use the magical touch of a 1 inch Forstner bit to drill a hole in the top and bottom pieces that is about 3 quarters of an inch deep. This is where the dowel rod will attach. Then I will use the miter and table saws to put some custom angles on the edges of my ring swing to give it some unique character. I'll use a magnetic angle gauge to make sure that I'm right where I want to be. Let me pause for a moment so you can see how nice trimming off the edges of your base piece really looks. This is what you will need to complete this project. Just three little pieces of wood, some string, a couple hooks, a couple baby eye bolts, and the rings. I'll provide an Amazon link for the rings that I used in this build. I'm going to get everything fitted together to make sure it looks right. I'll make a couple more measurements and drill the rest of the holes that are needed. While I put this back together, let me recommend that you use an oak dowel rod instead of pine. That's a harder wood and will last longer if you plan on taking your contraption apart and transporting it often. Cut your strings to about even with your base to give yourself a little more than enough slack to get your rings attached. Use some fire to further customize your build. I want to thank my friends over at Starbond for sponsoring this part of my build. Their super glues are super great products that I've recently discovered that have proven useful in many different applications. I'll have a product review for those coming up soon. Check the description for a link to their website and make sure to use my discount code CURTIS10 to get a 10% discount on your order. I'll also provide a product link to Amazon. Using just a tiny bit of Starbond, I will apply super glue to all the knots and trim off the excess string. This is where I ended up after all of them were sanded down and cleaned up nicely, and as promised, here are the measurements that I used to make my four miniature ring swing battle games. Just in case you're still watching and don't have any idea what the concept is here, or if you just want to see what it looks like in action, my great friend Leo came over to play a couple rounds with me so I could show you how to play. First, you're going to need a scorekeeper. Other versions of this game have a separate board with a marker on it, but I chose to keep it a little more simple and use a dollar coin instead. Now that I think about it, you can make it interesting and use a quarter and the winner of the game gets to keep the quarter. That would be fun. Anyways, you swing the ring and try to get it to land inside and rest on the hook. When you do so, you advance the scorekeeper towards your opponent. When they score, they move it back towards you. There are two imaginary spots on either side of the dowel rod to make a total of five imaginary places that my scorekeeper can sit. The game lasts until one person scores enough times to push the scorekeeper off the edge of the scoreboard. You can probably tell that the speed of the game is increased, but here in this third game, I'll slow it down a little bit to show you an almost double hook by my friend and I at just about the same time. That's coming up shortly. The ring swing that I burned to give some extra character ended up being a mega expert level and wasn't really exciting to watch, so I didn't show any gameplay on that model. As I mentioned, this game is a lot of fun and super easy to build. Please share this video with someone who would love it. Smash that like button and let me hear from you in the comments section. I always reply as quickly as I can. Make sure and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and want to be notified about videos that I post in the future. Thanks for your time and support. I'll see you soon.